Right guys, so something a little bit different. I've been seeing these videos on TikTok with the um, McDonald's chips and the burger. So I've gone and got myself a box. They're the French fries. Says they even come in little cartons as well. So we're gonna cook them, see what they're like. Honest verdict. And then we've got a big stack. I presume that's a Big Mac. Bit nervous about trying this because I never buy frozen burgers because they usually proper rubbish. So I'm presuming these are going to be rubbish. But yeah, got to give them a try. Won't slag them off until I've given them a try. So I'm going to get these cooked up with these chips. Big Mac and fries coming up. Let's see what it's like. All right, so chips are going in going in air fryer. You can get two of these. Why are they so hard to get into? Going in. Going in the air fryer. Just just chucked most of them all over. So they're putting them in the air fryer. I've got them on. Oops, what shall I put them on at? Have a look. So oh, we're going at on air fry 180 15 minutes. Let's go. Get back to you. Come over to this side of the kitchen now to do this burger. It says you just warm. You just warm the um what? <laughs> There's your burger bun. There's everything here. So I'll just show you what we've got down here. So you get it's all frozen. You get your burger bun. Looks alright. You have to toast that. You get your relish. You put that in hot water. Get your processed cheese. And you got your two dodgy burgers. Mm. Smell all right. Two little dodgy burgers. So it says put them on a plate side by side. They sound all right, don't they? Yeah. Let's get them. Get them in there. Hit microwave. Boosh. Let's go. Give them a little bit. I've got my sauce in hot water. I've had to put my cheese in my pocket for five minutes while it thawed out. That's in there cooking. Right, so we've got our burgers out. They look like that. They're a bit greasy. Right, so I'm going to build the said thing. It said you have to toast the tea cake. Toasted it a bit much, which is a bit of a bugger. So anyway, bottom of the bun. Bottom of the bun, put a bit of lettuce on. Burger. Bloody hell, super processed cheese. Don't usually eat this sort of cheese, but hey ho. So you get your little burger, your, your burger, your bread in the middle. Another bit of lettuce. Looks as dry as a bloody old boot. Get that in. And we get the some scissors. Get the burger relish out. Just cut the end off. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put some in. Oh, look at the bloody state. I'm going to put a bit in bottom bit. There we go. Bit on top bit. I haven't actually got any onions. Let's 
that. <laughs> we'll see. Let's get them chips. Right, so we've got my chips ready. Can't believe I've burnt top of them. Oh, they were well done and all. They look like McDonald's, McDonald's chips. So there we go. Let's see what it's like. Right, so here it is. Right. I'll taste some chips first without any sauce. For a start, the hot McDonald's chips are never hot, but these are hot. You know something? They're really nice. They're bang on. Chips. They're a winner. Get them. Right. Let's try this burger. I can't believe I burnt the top of it. Unbelievable. Only a little bit. It sort of smells like a McDonald's. We're scared. Right, we're ready. Let's go for it. Just talk amongst yourselves while I eat this. It's not that bad. It the burger doesn't taste like McDonald's. The sauce is just McDonald's, but yeah. The burger's alright. I'd buy it again. Buy it again. So if I were going to give this any score, I'd give it a 7, 7 out of 10. Chips, 10 out of 10, they're fantastic, you can't really go wrong with chips, but they are nice. Burger, McDonald's burger, big stack, yeah, 7 out of 10, it's alright. I will continue to eat it, it won't go in the bin. So yeah, if you want yourself a McDonald's on cheap, Go there, you'll have to cook it yourself like, and don't burn your, burn your roll because I can taste it. Thanks for watching, cheers guys.